Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today I have a super fun video lined up for you. We are talking about eight budget upgrades that will make a huge difference in your home. If you're looking for ways to upgrade key components of your home without spending a whole lot of money, this video is for you. The concept for this video really came from me visiting all of my friends and family's homes. I found a lot of common issues, which could be deemed mistakes, especially if it's not intentional, that I saw over and over again. So I compiled this list, and this is in no particular order, but these are really small budget upgrades that will make a huge impact in your home. The first upgrade you can make in your home right now is to anchor your television with a console. What is a console? I mean, really, you could anchor that television with anything you'd like. A dresser, a media cabinet, a sideboard, a buffet, a credenza. A lot of the times I'll walk into a home and I see this really huge, gigantic flat screen TV, which is really just a centerpiece and the focal point of a living room. It's mounted at the perfect height, you know, between 45 and 65 inches above the finished floor, except that it's missing something to anchor underneath this big black box. Now, why do you need something underneath the television? Technically, you don't need anything. I mean, it's interior design. It's really just a personal preference and it's best practices. You're looking for a piece of furniture to anchor underneath the television for a few reasons. Number one, it's visually more appealing, especially when you have a large black box in the middle of a wall with nothing underneath it. It feels off balanced and unfinished. Source a console or a cabinet larger than the width of the television. You don't want this space to feel even more crowded or cluttered as it is. So definitely specify a console or a cabinet with ample drawers and cabinets. If you specify a cabinet specific just for media, it might have a little opening for your DVD player or cable box. The next budget upgrade you can make right now for less than $100 is changing the wall color. The power of paint really is transformative. Paint is the easiest finish you can apply yourself right now that makes such a major impact in a space. If you're having trouble choosing a color, definitely check out my favorite neutral paint video for more inspiration. How do you pick a wall color that is going to vibe with your space? I think choosing paint and a color palette seems to be one of the most daunting aspects of interior design for anyone to embark on. You might be confused on what color to pick, what color is going to vibe with your space. I always start with a major accessory in the space and pull colors from that. If you have a fabulous piece of artwork that you'd like to display, choose colors from the art piece. If you have an area rug in the space that's anchoring the entire living room, pick a neutral accent color from the area rug to pull onto the walls. What you ultimately create is a really huge impact in the room for barely any money at all. Speaking of area rugs, the next budget tip is to choose the right area rug for your space. If you've watched my ultimate guide to area rugs video, you'll know that I always advise for you to purchase the largest area rug that you can fit in the room. This means that all of your furniture should fit squarely onto the area rug. There's different rules for different rooms, of course. The dining room area rug should be large enough that the chairs can pull out of it and still land on the area rug. The living room area rug should ideally fit all the front legs of your entire seating group, from the sofa to the accent chairs to the coffee table and side tables.
The bedroom's area rug should be large enough so that when you wake up in the morning and you get out of bed, your feet should land squarely on the area rug and not on the hard flooring beneath it. The next budget tip is to invest in a headboard. Growing up, I slept on just a mattress, a box spring, and metal rails. I mean, metal rails are so inexpensive. They're probably about $30 for pretty much any size. On top of that, you had a box spring, and then you had a mattress, and you kind of just pushed it up against the wall. If you're living like that right now, I'm going to tell you there are so many inexpensive, ready-made headboards that you can purchase for really under $100. If you're a little bit more skilled in the DIY area, you can also custom make a headboard and upholster it in the fabric of your choice. You can also look for secondhand resources like Facebook Market, OfferUp, Craigslist, even eBay and Etsy for inexpensive, unique headboards that suit your personality and style. There are also hundreds of ways for you to fashion and fabricate a headboard without even having to purchase one. While we're still in the bedroom, let's talk about simplifying your bedding so you can add personal unique touches. I have a tried and true formula that I love no matter who my client is and what their style is about. I love to start with a blank white slate, which means white sheets, white pillowcases, white duvet, and a white duvet cover. I know what you're probably thinking. I mean, white is so bland, it's so boring. I have pets, my pets shed. You can see everything on white. But the idea is that you simplify your bedding, you start with a blank slate, and then you can start adding color and pattern and texture with comforters, coverlets, duvet covers, a throw at the end of the bed, strategic throw pillows layered on top, Try purchasing standard pillow inserts, then you can swap out the pillowcases and the pillow covers whenever the mood strikes. Raise your hands if you hate going into the bathroom. I mean, my bathroom is really small. I have a very small vanity and the original owners had like a very basic mirror on the wall. I knew that the first thing that I wanted to do was rip this mirror off the wall and replace it with just something really cute and framed. The easiest move you can make in your bathroom right now is to remove your builder grade mirror and swap it out for something that's decorative and a little bit more elevated. You might remember from my small bathroom video that one of my designer tips to make your small bathroom look larger is to invest in a large wall-to-wall -wall mirror. If you have a smaller lavatory, specify a mirror the same width as the size of your sink. If you have a wall sconce that's above the lavatory, you want to measure the space from the top of the countertops to underneath the wall sconce if it's a linear wall sconce. If you have vertical wall sconces, you'll measure the width in between the two vertical wall sconces so you get the maximum width of your new decorative mirror.
If you don't have any lighting at all, maximize the width of the entire lavatory by purchasing a framed mirror that spans wall to wall. You can give it a little bit of breathing room so it feels like framed art. The next budget upgrade you can make is in the dining room. Look in your dining room right now. Is the fixture above the dining table something that you specified or was it already there when you moved in? If it was already there, then chances are it's probably not your style. A little known fact is that pendants and chandeliers are really inexpensive if you know the right vendor to source from. Check out my dining room design mistakes video for the optimum size and shape of the lighting that you should specify in relation to the size and shape of your dining table. For more lighting tips, make sure you watch my ultimate guide to lighting. And the last budget upgrade that you can make in your home right now is to add a gallery wall. I have a really fun video on how to create the ultimate gallery wall now in my channel, but remember that a gallery wall is what you make it. It could be a series of photographs that you've taken on vacation. It could be your favorite baby pictures of your cute little newborn. It could also be a series of black and white photography from your favorite landscape artists. A gallery wall could simply be a huge statement piece of artwork that anchors a focal wall in your space. What does this gallery wall say about your hobbies, your likes, your interests, your lifestyle? Think about ways for you to personalize your space and share your story. At the end of the day, interior design is really not rocket science. It doesn't take a whole lot of thought to create a space that you love. It also doesn't take a whole lot of money to implement really key design moves to transform your entire space. If you've ever used any of my design tips to implement into your own space, I would love to know. Drop me a line in the comments below and let me know if you've made any budget upgrades to your home that you would love to share with our viewers. The viewers comb the comment section looking for situations similar to their own and I know that they would love your help. If you like this type of content and you want more videos just like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone you know who's looking to make budget upgrades to their space and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.